Hi again. In this video I'd like to show you a few of protection mechanism what is implemented on the power supply. Let's start with one which is not so obvious. We implemented in this power supply similarly to many commercial devices an auto recall user profile. You can find it here under user profile you will see that is a additional feature which is called auto recall on power on. What does it mean? That means that one of the user profile which you select you have up to 10 uh, will be immediately loaded when power supply is powered on. This sounds like a nice feature which can save you some time to first uh, remember what was the latest programmed value on each channel and you don't need to set it over and over again. But this type of operation could be dangerous in some cases. Let's say that I started with these values like 10 volt 1 amp, 5 volt 1 amp on the second channel uh, but before connecting my load I decide to decrease an voltage on the first channel and current on the second channel like this because uh, I know that previously set 10 volt it's too too high or 1 amp was too high for my connected load and now I can put load and I'm satisfied with result. But if for any reason power is switched off uh, due to some uh, blackout or I've just decide to switch it off, in the next power cycle if I go back with profile which which has 10 volts and uh, 1 amp instead of 6 volt and 200 milliamps on the second channel it's a good chance that if power supply started with values output values which is stored in the power up profile that my connected load will be damaged and we can try to see what will happen actually good thanks to that security mechanism firmware on the startup recognized a difference in between last set value and that value is what is uh, stored in a power up profile and put both channel in off output is off and we'll get that auto recall mismatch information in our log file and now we have possibility to remove our load and start everything again so we have here hypothetical 6 volt and here it was 200 milliamps and say again okay now I'm safe and I can put back my loads again next protection mechanism is related to protection tripping we have four different type of protections on the each channel over current, over voltage, over temperature and over power protection and uh, it could be interesting in the case that any of that protection tripped on one channel or both of them or whatever the complete unit is shut down that is possible to define by going in system settings and under system protection settings we have shut down when protection tripped yes and now we can provoke one of the protection let's say over current on channel 2 and now we just need to increase the voltage that current is over 1 amp and everything go down 
Another possibility it's also related to protection tripping. Instead of switching off complete unit we can switch both outputs if only protection tripped on one channel. Again we need to go to system settings and under system protection settings there is another option switch off all outputs when protection tripped. Okay. And now we can, for instance, define over voltage protection on channel 1 by removing a load. We will get off on both channel. And finally we'd like that on the power up both channels output it's always off regardless of what is set in a selected user profile. Ok, let's see what we have here. So when I start again currently selected user profile allows that both output it's turned on but we can override that with this option force disabling of all outputs on power up and we can try that once again and both channel it's off. This is all for this time. Thank you for your attention and goodbye.